decorating the decorating show on fixed radio join us again this week dad's going to be back he's going to be talking about his holiday maybe some adventures that he's had out in spain i'm going to be talking about actual work that i've been doing six till seven tuesdays on fixed radio Rocks by Primal Screen and The Boys Are Back in Town by Thin Lizzy. This is the painting and decorating show with Osmo and Brewers Decorators Centres on Fix Radio. Dad's back with me this week. Hola. Hello. <laughs> um, we've got a few things to talk about this week. We've got the, the standard, the good, the bad, the ugly. What have you got to chat about? Well, and we've also having a chat about is it worth getting yourself a website or are there other ways of generating business online better off sticking with like a facebook page or just an instagram page or something like that we're also going to be talking about workwear whites are you more professional when you wear whites or does it not really matter does it matter about how the job ends up looking so all that tonight on the painting decorating show on fix radio and coming up we've got everything about you ugly kid joe and celebration cool in the gang that's a good song i like that one yeah who that was quite obviously celebration, cool in the gang. Yahoo. This is the painting and decorating show on Fix Radio uh, with Osmo and Brewers Decorator Centres. What are we talking about, Dad? Well, this week, well, no, we're going to talk about our uh, good, the bad, the ugly, where we discuss the good points, the bad points, and the, the ugly points. It's so pretty, pretty self-explanatory one, isn't it? It's a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. So, should we start with you, Ryan? What was your good points of uh, last week? Um... So my good points was I managed to do that job on my own pretty effectively. Didn't really have too many struggles with it. Didn't quite really need that there as much as well, things I need in there sometimes. I paid their invoice, so it can't all be bad, can yeah, it? Yeah, well, so we've got that, and we quickly run off and changed our address. Um, uh, what my, were your good points? My Go good on. point was, I don't even know, Dave, our producer. Say hello, Dave. Hello! That's Dave. He's wrote a book. He's a, a best-selling author, and he persuaded my missus to buy his book. Weight expectations, and uh, she couldn't put it down. So, Aww. thanks to Dave, I've got about two or three days of doing what I wanted to do because <laughs> she just oh well, bear in mind I had to cook and make breakfast and all that. But anyway, it was well worth it. So yeah, if you want to keep your missus quiet, buy Dave's book. Or in fact, even if you want to read it yourself, because I think one of the problems, and I'm getting a bit serious here for uh, quite a jokey show, but. Being a bloke and talking about mental health sometimes can be quite hard. There's quite a big stigma to it. And I genuinely think that, especially within our trades, it's quite looked down upon to even just share feelings, even if you're having a bit of a bad day. Because we're blokes. Exactly. We're blokes. We've got to be hard. We've got to be builders. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so so give, it, give it a read yourself. There's some good points in there. And um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely worth talking about. Anyway, right, let me need to yeah, lighten it up a on. bit now. Yeah, we need to bring it back into a <laughs> right. bit of a cheery state. Go on, what were your bad? My bad was going back to Ryan's job. It looks like he probably don't know me as much as I thought he does. Because, <laughs> like I say, he did the job. It wasn't too bad. There's a few bits that um, I had to go and have a look at. But nothing too bad. And they've paid their invoice, which yeah. is always a bonus. I think I need to up my day rate a little bit, maybe. <clears throat> a little another 20 quid on that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. What was your bad? Um... What was my bad? I'm still going on about it from last week, but spindles, 98 of them, just... Uh, no, it was 93 spindle. last week. Where'd the other two come from? <laughs> oh, I found some more at the top. Did you? Yeah. Uh, I can't count, apparently, unless yeah. I'm a painter. <laughs> um, well, what was your ugly? My ugly was, this week we had some work booked in and we got let down by a customer. So, mm. yeah. so you're all keyed up for coming back after all day, cracking yeah. straight into some work. Yeah, and... they, they were going to get some work done and they decided now they're going to sell their property. So we've had to have a rejig around, find some work, and we've done it but it's just you know not and a nice it, problem to have really it's a rarity that we get caught out by stuff like that innit we don't dad's got quite a good nose for getting caught out by customers and people that promise the world and then don't really come across as anything no exactly the good thing is we did take a deposit so uh, always, always take a deposit yeah that's another contentious issue whether you should take a deposit or not we do because we've also been uh, let down in the past by yeah but it's a completely different story what was your ugly guy uh, it was the drive home from picking you up at the airport, which was because you uh, you got sat on the plane because the police needed to look at every male member, and Dad thought it was for him, but um, I think the statute of limitations has run out for Dad's crime, so I don't think they can get after him now. <laughs> I think that's why he went on holiday. Not been on holiday in ten years because he thought we were after you. Spain's not as safe as it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a pretty nasty drive home at about half one, two in the morning with a lot of uh, rain. a lot of rain, a bit of fog over the Surrey Hills because the M25 was shut, the M3 was shut. In a well, focus estate. In a focus estate filled with tins of paint and dust sheets. Mother loved it. 
<laughs> my mum was laid up in the back. I think she had a dust sheet on as a duvet on the drive home. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, so that was our good, the bad, the ugly for the week. You got anything else to say, Father? No, that's fine. Carry on. Um, we've got coming up, Get the Party Started by Pink. And she moves in her own way, the kooks. Paint and decorating show on Fix Radio. Like a pro, guys, that was brilliant. We were getting into a little rhythm there, right? I, I think that's, yeah, I love, I honestly love it when you chuck backwards and forwards because I think you really feed off each other. Velveteen, the island. Vel- Come on. Velvet. Oh, shit, yeah. The Paint and the Decorating Show with Osmo and Brewers Decorating Centres on Fix Radio. We've, the Brewers have actually got a few deals running at the moment. Uh, we're going to talk about it quickly. You can get some water seal, 5 litre, 14 If you've still got an outside uh, going on. If, yeah, if you're still nutty enough to be doing outsides in this time of year. We stop outsides in about August. April. April. No. <laughs> um, and also they've got a big shovel and brush. Which... We were in Cane Adams today and this dustpan and brush for £6.50... Is massive. And dad, like, dad definitely won't be able to tell you how good it is or how bad it is because he do not do any cleaning up. That's all me. I thought it'd be the ideal present for you. Yeah, that's my Christmas present, that yeah, is. Exactly. So, uh, it's a, it, is, it is big, it is quite nice though. And a set of Purdy's, the Monica Leet and Pro Extra, a pack of five for £35.99 at Smack. I use a two inch Purdy as a dusting brush. That was the you first do, brush yeah. dad ever bought me, was a two inch Purdy, and I now use it as a duster. That's how posh we are. Also, what well, we've got super. Smooth wall covering adhesive, um, 15, oh, 10 kilogram tub. Yeah, 10 kilo tub of uh, wallpaper adhesive for 16, that's a bit ominous, 1666 X fat. Mm. But that's, that's, that's some evil wall covering, that is. So, yeah, that's just a few of the deals that are on at the moment from Brewers. And a little hint as well Brewers also run a deal where you get 20% off of your first two orders if you sign up for a cash account. So, that's your missus getting a cash account at Brewers, your daughter getting a cash account at Brewers. Um, and now we're going to be talking about workwear and whites. Do you wear them? Do you wear your own branded gear as well? Do you, d- Dad makes me wear whites. I, I used to hate it, but I've slowly got into the... I uh, just think you look more professional if you're wearing whites. That's just my opinion. It doesn't make you It doesn't make you a better decorator. It just makes you look like a better decorator. And exactly. a lot of the time... The, Dad actually drilled this into me quite a bit early on, is that your image is what people rate you on as well. If they look at you and took see me that, forever for him to realise this. But if you rock up in, in dirty joggers and a black T shirt with some holes in it looking like a scaffolder, then they're gonna expect you to do the job like a scaffolder. They're not gonna leave you and trust your professionalism and as much. You may be perfectly capable of doing the job, but it just gives the customer I feel this is me, my opinion, it just makes the customer it make I think it makes the customer feel a bit uneasy, you know. If you, yeah, a little bit taking a little bit of care about yourself you know you turn up respectably probably I'm, I might be old fashioned you are old fat. no you're just old actually so yeah thanks <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing but uh, th- there's also a point of the dad made me buy because we done a fire and bull showroom in, in Isha Esha Isha uh, Isha Isha Esha um, and dad made me dad, dad I made dad buy me because I'm not spending 80 quid on a pair of whites Fish dads Fristad Whites. And they, are the, they are the dogs. Ooh, <laughs> nearly, nearly went there, didn't you? <laughs> nearly. Um, Wait. You know, so close. But Sorry, see, I'm not a huge fan of them because they've got all these extra pockets flapping about you. If you try and get your knee pads in as well, the knee pads are on the inside of the trouser legs. So if I forget to put them in on a Monday morning at home, I was doing that communal hallway and forgot to put them in. I ended up having to get into my pants down the side of this... But hiding, hiding myself down the side of this hallway in the doorway of one of the flats in my patch, quickly trying to ram these knee pads in. But the good thing with frist ads is the knee pads have got knee pads. They don't. You can't put them in. They don't end up as shin pads. Yeah. Although, and my general strategy, because my paintbrush every May Day have a sale on the Axa shorts. So I buy the Axis shorts every year for the summer, and then in the winter I reinvest in a new pair of whites just to make them look clean and. What nice. Those, what those ones trousers you bought off of um, Amazon? Oh, uh, the Ant Man ones. They're quite cool. They are quite nice, and I like them because they're quite simple. They're not complicated and over the top. A lot like Ryan. Yeah, very very simple, not over the top. So anyway, if you've got any thoughts about that, uh, give us a text at eighty one four hundred and start your message with the word fix. 
tweet at Fix Radio UK or the easiest way, message the studio through the app. It's right up in there in the top right. Just hit that and message the studio. And we'll read it out and it. Uh, see what you've got to say about it. As long as you say nice things, we'll read it out. I'm not going to say we nasty We might read it out. Really and, this year, and this year as well, I'm not thinking about going white. So I'm thinking about going old school and looking about as old as Dad feels and getting a bib brace. That's another story. <laughs> uh, what we've got coming up is Canned Heat by Jamie 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 Requari. Yeah, yeah Swaddy. Running Down a Dream by Tom Petiti. <laughs> brilliant. Great stuff. That was brilliant, guys. Jesus, uh, it's already off, off six. I know. Right. Oh, no. So, you want some more sweetie? <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you might want to just... Um, Say, oh, I actually don't worry about it. But after after we do this, then just say Tom Petty running a dream, just because I think we might get told off. Yeah. Us and but yeah. I think do you get told off? You don't. Do you really? Oh yeah, yeah. PR, there's a company called PRS. It's so basically yeah. the idea is um, I can got it, it. It's basically like. I wonder what you were doing then. It's like, play with my nipples. Oh my god, I did a burlesque night on. Uh, I headlined a burlesque night on um, Sunday. One of the just all these girls were just naked. Poor you. But like, honestly, it was oh, a bit... Dave, don't. I've... How did you cope? It was genuinely, like, really, like, this is fucking weird. <laughs> do, you, do you need, like, a handle yeah, or something when you go out? I'll come yeah. along the gigs with your Dave. Yeah, yeah. so, if you don't yeah. get paid, I'll go around there yeah. and take them out the back. You you also, mate, you've got to give him a bit look of cash at, Look at this. this. Please save your eyes. Um, where's the photos? Oh, they're uh, taking pictures in. Yeah, they did. Like, um, where is it? Just and she was just wandering around the dressing room, just completely naked. Uh, and well, I, in some ways, though, that's not as nice as them being dressed quite sexually, is it? Couldn't agree more. Thank that you. The, <laughs> I said this so. Oh. This was something my old boss used to say. He said the most sexy thing. He goes, "When I had my daughter, he goes, the sexiest thing was all the nurses walking around in scrubs." He's like, so it's just, <laughs> he goes, there's just that little bit of cloth between you and them, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, but it's it's the suggestion. Yeah, like yeah, when exactly. you've got, it, it's kind of like Christmas Day when you've owned all your presents. You've yeah. like, oh, no, 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 Right, you've got five seconds. You're doing that first and then turn it over and it to me. Trompet? No. No, yeah. no, no. So it's going to, there's been like four seconds and then... You can win £500 cash every week on Fixed Radio in Pay It Forward with Trade Direct Insurance. And to win the £500, all you've got to do is answer one question. The game is so easy, we'll even give you the answer. Pay It Forward. Ugly Phil at breakfast gives you the ungoogleable question and answer on a Monday. Then, if Ugly Phil gives you a call on Friday morning and you know the answer, you'll win 500 quid. Almost a month's wages for me. <laughs> Last time we played Pay It Forward on Fix Radio, thousands of pounds were dished out. Don't miss your chance to win a share of the cash this time around. There's 500 pounds to win every week. To play, you need to register at fixradio.co.uk and listen to Ugly Phil every Monday. Pay It Forward with Trade Direct Insurance, Tradesman Insurance. Seriously now, that was Running Down a Dream by Tom Petty. This is the Painting and Decorating Show on Fix Radio, brought to you with Osmo and Brewers Decorator Centres. We're going to be talking about whether you need a website nowadays, whether you'll be alright just working off of Facebook or other, what do they call them, lead generation? Lead generation, generation. yes. Yeah, lead yeah. generation. Um, and to be honest, this is mostly Dad's conversation because Dad books to work in and then makes me go there for no money. But there was uh, there was a, a post the other day on the decorators forum asking, you know, do I need a website? Is it a good thing to get? Um, I'm not too sure. I think it's good to have a presence on on the internet on Google, you know, just so you can showcase your work. Um, and it all depends what sort of market you're going for. We always seem to find that Facebook is good for showing our work, but when it comes to customers. It's not. We've even asked people to stop recommending us on Facebook, on the like the you know the community groups where they're asking for a decorator and stuff because they never really want to. They are tire kickers, most of them. Yeah, they, they, they're actually looking for the cheapest price. Yeah, they're not there because we we tend to angle ourselves. We might not be the cheapest, but we're one of the best, and they're just looking for the cheapest. Well, I'm one of the best. They're just looking <laughs> for the cheapest. Yeah, so it, it depends, you know, and it's. Do you want to be wasting, not wasting time, but do you want to be going out to look at those sort of jobs, you know, when you can spend your time working for a, 
a bit of quality over quantity. And to be fair, a website with all of the like website creation tools now, website creation website sounds a bit funny to say. Um, but all I done was use Squarespace, and I knocked up Dad's website in about eight hours with some pictures www. and some flowery language. www.tjdecor.co.uk is yeah, is Just have a look, see what Ryan's done. He's, I'll tell you what. To be fair, I'm always whenever I go and look at jobs, I, you know, that has been found from the website. I always get complimented on, the, you know, how how good the website looks. So uh, and when I set up the website after that, Dad hadn't yet got the new van sign written, so. I made Dad use the same fonts and colours that are on the website on the van, which is now the same font that's used on our shirts, which is now the same fonts that's used on all of the other We're office, branding office and all stationery. Sorts. We're all over, We're the all over it. So anyway, going back to this um, little survey from Decorators Forum, it turned out that sort of twelve percent reckon that having your van sign written is a good way to generate business, which I do agree with because I've got loads of jobs blowing my van outside of a job and just getting a phone call. But then also a few times we've been a bit Larry in the van and <clears throat> on the way and we've had a call. Oh yeah, that's right. We've, yeah, yeah. We, there was a, we were in order shop going to where were we going to Farmer? paint shack. We're going to the paint shack. Yeah, we were going to paint shack. In and the there shop. was this boy racer and what was he in a Focus? Yeah, some Focus or something. And he'd done a little drift coming Tell off the what, roundabout. He was cool as anything. So we went past him, tooted, and put our thumbs up. And he phones us up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you, you, what, do you need do to get I know you? me, mate? Do you want to? Do you, we need, do you need know, to mate, talk you to us about something? About really well. I thought, you know, we're just giving you a little bit of a compliment. And then it turns out I've been a brand actor. You want to come and watch me race? <laughs> no, no, mate. We just, yeah, just admire a, a bit of drifting. We a bit of a laugh. But yeah. I so, said to Dad, the secret to driving around in a signed Vic written van a bit dodgily is just get a number two stuck on the back so if you do get a call saying oh you know one of your vans was driving very erratically you'd be like what did they have a number two on the back they're sacked in the morning there that's it when they come in they're gone that's the third time we've, he's got a wife and kids to look after but he's gone he's sacked. <laughs> we've gone way off topic here uh yeah, so, go on. sorry 12 percent maybe get your van sign ring maybe not um 35 percent was yeah we, a website would be a good thing to do and then 53 percent was you know just Getting a Facebook, Facebook business page. page. So um, give us a text in if you agree. How do you, how do you advertise your business? Text us 81400 and it'll start your message with the word fix. Tweet at Fix Radio UK or, again, the easiest way, message through the app, top right corner, tap the little message bubble there. Coming up, we've got Magnificent Time by Travis. This is the Paint and Decorating Show on Fix Radio. Perfect. We went way off the thing there. That's yeah, brilliant. That's why, brilliant. That's, why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why I don't think we need many notes. We just that's go off brilliant. topic and we start actually talking to each other. That's right. The painting and decorating show with Osmo and Brewers Decorators Centres. So that's nearly us done. What what are we going to be talking about? What are we doing uh, next I've week? I've got an outside to finish. Yeah, weather permitting. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, and I've got some wallpaper to go strip at some old building and somewhere. And we've got some um, oak beams to get the wet damp stain out of as well. Go on, try and say it. What are we using? Oxalacky, lacky, lacky, lacky. Oxalacky. Ox- oh, I can't even say it. Now, now see, o- smile up. Oxalac- oh, oh, now I'm done. Oxalaic. Oxa- yeah, oxalaic acid, I think. Some crystals. Yeah, we've got some crystal in the van. We'd have to put them... <laughs> If anybody could tell us how to say that, that'd be really handy. Yeah, if you could just message how to say oxalic acid. Oxalic acid. Um, and I got some wallpaper to go strip, but we went there today, and the builder had stripped off of the wallpaper yeah. off anyway. So I'm going to try. Because I've done that. Can you do? There's another room to do. Yeah. You know well, because oh, like yeah, that crafty. one's harder. But I like this builder because he was the one that took me to my first um, gentleman's establishment. <laughs> let's say. <laughs> 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 yeah. So don't don't mind working for him. It always turns into a bit of um, an adventure. Whenever you see Mr. Bradshaw. Yeah, Mr. Yes. He's, a, he's definitely a different character altogether. Yeah, but that is part of the reason why I'm quite happy being in the building trade. There are a lot of characters and it is quite straight shooting, isn't it? There's not you, a yeah, lot of... Yeah, you, there's not enough, a lot of thrills, is there? It's, you know, you get what you ask, you know. Yeah. You, you, you know where you stand. Do, exactly, yeah. They're not... Um, not you know not you can trust Double characters, you yeah. It's quite um, straight... I don't know where we got lost there. No, no. And what else are we doing? Once you've done that outside, what are you doing? Because it's like five windows, but it's raining all week. So. Oh, and then we've got to go inside and do these oak beams. Oh, yeah, and then inside and doing the oak beams. And then we've got to do the mechanics house that I paid 300 quid for to tell me that my van was no buggered. Good. No good. No good. I said buggered. That's right. Yeah. Um, 
thought you were going to say the other word. No, no, I'm not you. So, coming up, we've got Take Me Out, Franz Ferdinand, and Teddy Picker, Arctic Monkeys, all to come on Fix Radio. You think that all things are equal. We mentioned Tom and... The painting and decorating show with Osmo and Brewers Decorator Centres on Fix Radio. Well, unfortunately, that's it again. We just started to get into our stride and we have to stop. Don't go breaking my stride. Nobody can hold me down. No. They oh, can't. no. Oh, Gotta no. keep on moving. Yeah, so next week, what are we going to be talking about? Ne- oh, next, what are we doing? That's a long way away. Another, another edition of Has Ryan Been Sacked This Week? I got very close yesterday. Yeah, but I didn't, did I? No, no. The the word sacked wasn't mentioned, no. but you should make some calls. I've I think, found a different the, ways of saying you're sacked. Uh, so so we yeah. got that, another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Abs- maybe, maybe we'll have a theme tune jingle for that next week. Yeah, it depends on Dave. Dave. Sort Hopefully. Of... There you go. Uh, there you you go. heard that. Dave's going to sort that out for us. Uh, also, don't forget to listen to Average Joe on Monday between 6 and 7, and also Tom mm. Sparky. I know, he's a Sparky, but... You know, between make six some and yeah, you got to you got to give him a bit. Six and between six and seven on a Friday. No, yeah, he's on a Friday. Joe's on a Monday. Don't forget to check out Average Joe Joinery on Instagram. I think he's got a YouTube as well. Yeah, he's definitely got a YouTube. Tom, yeah. Tom is just Tom the Spark on Instagram and on YouTube. I think Thomas Naji. Yeah, um, I'm at S and D Decorating on Instagram. I'm TJ Painter Decorating on Instagram and on YouTube and on Facebook. So uh, I think that's everything we can uh, possibly talk about it yeah so, so join join us again next week for some more painting and or decorating or both on fix radio this is i the tiger survivor brilliant oh look we've got time to spare look at that please don't forget to subscribe below and also if you uh, enjoyed this video you might enjoy that one too